8.5 linear regression. We use linear regression to compare two variables, such as height and weight in boys or crime rate and number of police stations in a small town. When, when we have two variables that we want to compare, linear regression is a way for us to see if there is an association or correlation between the two. So for example, the number of cigarettes that you smoke and the probability that you get lung cancer are the two related and linear regression is a way that we can tell if they are related. So one of the ways that we can see if there's any kind of association between two variables is by making a scatter plot and you might have seen one of these scatter plots before but what they are is plotting one set of data along the x-axis and a different set along the y-axis. So choose one variable to plot on the x-axis, which is horizontal and it goes side to side, and the other on the y-axis, which is vertical and goes up and down. Now you can't just plot the points on one line. You have to put a scale across the x-axis and put a scale on the y-axis and then use pairs of data. So for a particular boy, his weight would go out this direction and then his height would take you up in this direction and you put a dot where the two intersect. We'll see how to create a scatter plot from pairs of data in a few minutes. What relationships do you see in the following scatter plots? So here we have A, B, C, D, and E and we're trying to identify if you see a relationship or if it's just a big blob. And for A, we see very much linear relationship because we could find a line and pretend my line is straight, it's supposed to be. So it won't touch all the dots, but it'll be close, very close to them. We call that linear. And it is also strong positive because the dots are very close to the line. And this one we would also call linear see if I can make a straight line because this line comes pretty close and so it's linear as well but it's going in the opposite direction the set of uh, the line itself as you look left to right across the graph so from left to right this one's going up that's why we're calling it positive and this B graph as we go left to right it's heading downward and so we call this one a negative relationship between the two value variables. Now this one looks more like a curve and so that one is not linear but it is pretty strong and it will be negative because we can find an equation just not a straight line equation that would be very very close to most of the data in this curve for C. Now for D I don't really see a relationship at all. I see just a lot of dots and it looks kinda like the United States so I would just say none. And for E the same deal I see a bunch of data clustered here and then kinda scattered all around out here but there's no straight line or any other function that I can recognize. So this one would have none as well. And so the relationship that we see in these two graphs is none. Linear is where the, the dots that are plotted follow pretty much in a straight line, either a positive direction or a negative direction. And then this one does follow a line, a curve, but not a straight line, so it's a nonlinear. If we have a linear relationship, that's when the trend of a scatter plot shows a straight line. So the trend, and that means kind of where it's heading, uh, shows a straight line relationship between the two variables. And that's what we're looking for when, when we are working in this chapter is, is a straight line relationship between the two variables.